video from my July 19th, 2014 dives to the USS Hogan and Missile Tower, I thought I'd change things up a little bit by showing my deco profiles for each of the dives. This first profile is for the Missile Tower. As you can see, it's a fairly square profile, except for the one bump in the middle where I actually go up and around the superstructure. It sits about 25 feet off the bottom in about 160 feet of water. When I first reached the bottom, it was only 157 feet. The tower itself, like all of the wrecks in San Diego, are absolutely covered in life. Here you can see the structure, which is on its side, covered in metridium anemones. There are huge schools of small fish that live on the tower. Like every wreck in San Diego, the Missile Tower is sort of an oasis in a barren, sandy bottom. It attracts fish of all sizes. Here's one more check-in, this time at 159 feet, almost there. This is the central tube that forms the heart of the missile tower. This is where the Trident missiles would sit, and you can see Robin inside for some perspective. The Trident missiles were 6 foot 11 in diameter, so it's very easy for a diver to swim inside this tube and turn around and swim back out without having his fins or gear touch the sides. Like everything in this wreck, the walls are covered in life. This wreck was sunk in the early 1990s as an artificial reef, and it quickly blossomed. Here's one of the various lingcod. As you can see, it's a little camera shy. They ranged in size from two to probably four plus feet. They were gigantic. The missile tower itself is sort of a latticework of, of structure. There's a catwalk around the perimeter of the top, which is where the, the tube was earlier. But the rest is superstructure. It's all integrated in. I thought this was a great shot of Robin as he's cruising above the metridium and enemies. As you can tell, everywhere you look, is covered with life. And that's one of the reasons I like diving wrecks as much as I do. They're simply gorgeous. Just more shots of the exterior of the tower. The main point of entry is that primary tube. I wouldn't want to try to get inside this latticework here. Here's Robin undoing his cable, his reel, that he had attached to the tower from the down line from the boat. This was done as a live drop. We were dropped off. They had sent down a small anchor with a float as opposed to the boat's anchor itself. And we were dropped off, swam over to the float, and swam down the line. Here I get the bright idea to see just how deep I can go. And for a brief second I'm at 160 feet. But then I'm back to 159. At this point I'm leaning my elbow into the sand when it finally hits 160 again. And here's all of us doing deco. There was quite a bit of current, so these John lines proved invaluable. Navy helicopter. The Navy was conducting military exercises. There was a helicopter dragging a flare. This is the deco profile for the Hogan. As you can see, it's a very square profile as well. Apparently, there was a squid run in San Diego recently. There were squid eggs all over the Hogan.
My profile here was pretty much 120 feet for the entire time. While there is some standing structure on the Hogan, as you'll see at various points, and some of it's large enough you can even do a swim through, it's pretty much a flat profile. There you can see the anchor chain from the boat, and you can see how much it's bobbing. Those John lines come in useful. And here is the boiler with my favorite wolf eel. This is the same wolf eel that Ashley's taken photos of. This is the same wolf eel that I took video of the last time. You can see his dinner plates on the bottom there, consisting of bits of crab. Here's another lingcod. I'm pretty sure they're all camera shy. One of the reasons I like this wreck so much is because it's so old, and because it's so old, it's really had time to gather life. It's also deteriorated, leaving lots of little nooks and crannies to look for critters. There's multiple sets of boilers and other piping, which are prime territory for animals to hide in. Last time I was on the wreck, I saw five wolf eels, and so we were on the hunt this entire dive for more. Here you can see more of the squid eggs from the squid run that must have just recently occurred. I didn't see any squid carcasses. Parts of the ship almost feel like a, a graveyard, as you can see there, the, the skeleton of the ship, if you were, standing erect in the sand. But no matter where you go on the Hogan, you're just surrounded by fish, you're surrounded by life. There's sea cucumbers, there's anemones, there's all sorts of life covering every inch. It's a great dive. Here we're at the bow of the ship. In the last video, I captured the stern. I'm not sure if I misidentified it or not. But as I back up slightly, you'll be able to see the bow's profile come into view. What's interesting is the stern's lying on the opposite side. Since it was a Navy target, Perhaps this was the result of an explosion. This is some sort of spider crab. I originally thought it was a sheep's crab, but look, looking at how long its arms and pinchers are, I don't believe it to be just a standard sheep's crab. I have never seen a sheep's crab with arms that long. But it was quite neat. Uh, Robin was kind enough to take me on one of the swim-throughs. This is a, a pretty easy, pretty open one. And as you can see, even underneath, where no light reaches, it's absolutely covered in life. You'll see that we're going to quickly approach the boiler. You can see another diver uh, across the way there, exploring inside. But here's the boiler, and there is a second wolf eel. If you don't believe me, look underneath his chin, or her chin as the case may be. There isn't nearly the pile of crabs that were associated with the other wolf eel. I believe this is the same boiler that the other one is. Maybe this is the mated pair that I saw in my last dive. This was an interesting structure. It looked like a series of gears. It might have been some sort of winch for a cargo system, perhaps. This was a large piece of erect structure. 
I don't recall what was on the other side, if you can do a penetration or not. But this is probably the largest portion that still stands. As you'll see in a moment, we're still at a 123 or so feet. It's a, it's a very flat profile. And here's me doing a cameo just to show that I am actually on this dive. And with all deco dives, you end doing deco. What was kind of neat about this time was there was a bat ray that swam by us. On the way back, we saw one of these Navy ships. There were actually two that were flanking us. This one had a helicopter that was just slightly in front of it as they were performing exercises. I'm not quite sure what they were doing, but we kept our distance. <laughs> 